I, another I'm, character that does not look fun to fight. I'm not gonna lie. I think the only one holding it down for all the dainty means, in my opinion. Like <laughs> his reasoning is that he has like a, a few th he, uh, a few things that dainty does have on the beach. It's just an audio cue that he mentioned to me earlier. Right, the side special. Yeah. If you don't know, we're talking about the audio cue when they side special. You know, the the hip bump. Peach will telegraph that it's coming just a little bit before it happens versus Daisy. She just, oh my god, just throws it out. Speaking of just throwing it out. Got a triple turn up off stage. Raza already on the ropes opening up. What's happening, man? The IE comes out here like, you know what? Because it is Edmund's not here. Uh -huh. Usually when it's here, the IE does well. They're not, they're not like SD in the first yeah. games. And Edmund will be like, oh, what the hell, Edmund? Yeah, where are you? Oh, he's what a nerd. He's streaming. He's streaming. He's streaming. He's streaming. What a nerd. <laughs> you got to get her out there. Let him be, man. Let him be. <laughs> He's having a merry old time. Yeah, sure. And here we go. And back off stage where Villager belongs. He's just, you know, keen to play. That's like one of the interesting things about Villager as a character. So, you know, very anti Smash, it kind of feels like. Just kind of something out of a different game, it feels like. Just playing off stage, floating along, no problem. Gonna get back to the stage. No character would come back from that situation. Yeah, that is very true. I feel like that's what kind of makes the character as a whole very different from all the rest of the cast. Uh -huh. Every character is really, really unique in their own aspect. But the ability to have such a great toolkit of like all these projectiles, all these zoning options, and then still survive off stage is something that no other character can actually do. If you look at all the zoners in the game, they, aside from Blink, probably, is like they have a tough time surviving off the stage right. and even being able to just go to the off stage to actually as, as an aim point. And even in that situation, it looked like Ant was, you know, getting back to the stage and then just getting hit right off. I'm wondering if maybe he should just take a cue and let, you know, if Roz is going to dictate the pace of the match on stage, maybe just let him dictate the pace of the match on stage and stay off stage and just keep firing bullets from there. And stomping downstairs and not able to come. Oh, he got a tech team back. Nice. I thought he was dead for sure. But again, it's Villager. He probably would have come back even if he didn't tech that situation. Oh my oh. god, what a read! And he doesn't kill? What is this game? It's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> he got a bowling ball. Well, I'm salty. I, I feel like it's a little bit nerfed from what it was in Smash 4. Like back in Smash 4, I just killed you over Diggle for sense. Yeah. I wonder if it has like a late hit. Oh my god, he survived. He got the uh, the upward, like, you know, momentum off yeah. the, the balloon. Actually, pop. the funny thing is when you pop the balloons, they actually do like move a little bit up and then uh -huh. they waddle down. And then it's like, he had the right opportunity, but he just did it back a little bit too late. He's probably a little frustrated because he's like, oh, man, I got a form. Oh, what happened with the gyrate right there? That's a little glitchy. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Oh, man, we're playing catch at this point. Oh, I like it. I like the down tilt setup with a setup for a forward air and possibly just look for a read on the end afterwards. Back air, that will definitely take the stock. Yeah, very good bait with the side special. It caught Ant sleeping just a little bit. He thought he could punish it. He got back here for it. Yep. Lost and Raza was just a hot stitch face, but he said, you know what? I'd rather not worry about my opponent being scared of it and just make the approach because he's not looking to be ready for it. Oh, uh, you went a little too questionable. low. Questionable options. Let's, you know, the bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off in the end. And so far, not working out so well. But he's going right back to right back to business. as a 67% lead. Let's see if Ant's able to mount a little bit of a comeback. Yeah. I mean, for Razo, he has quite the powerful game plan. Like, he knows that Ant has to kind of make the approach. He has him on the back foot. He's racking up the damage. Go forward to Ash to just destroy the load all at once. Another yeah. opportunity. No parry. He just gets, eats it. And yeah. Picks up the good picking up the turn up. But now he has oh. it in hand. That's the hard part, you know. Like, it's most characters, if you have turn up in hand, you can probably get some mileage out of it. But Villager. You know, it just takes away your aerials, and you have to throw it first before yeah. you can really do it. Yeah, what you can do as villagers, the best thing is you can do is just pocket it. Yeah. And, and then you don't get to hold, like, turn up away from Peach at all. Or if just your tree's out, you'd be able to axe with it in hand. Be, uh, yeah, that you know, is true. That's a good point, but not at this down point right now. Oh, I thought oh. we were going to see down air, too. It would have popped some of the balloons, but it doesn't matter. He sees the retreater stage and raises the back throw. Great opportunity. I mean, at that point, like, you kind of knew that, like, okay, if villager can survive off the stage, what about when Villager gets on stage? And I think that was his game plan, is to execute Villager the minute he starts coming back on the stage. Yeah, anytime he was on stage, he was getting bopped with forward air. It kind of looked rough overall. Um, yeah, Raza, business as usual. You know, it's, it's kind of his stomping grounds. He's yeah. generally, a, it's one of those, if I'm hips not here, he's, Raza's been it's one like of the Raza, favorites it, to win. Yeah, it's usually be like Raza, I'm hip, Nitro, um, yeah, it's an Orange County tournament, but like the Inland Empire just kind of tears it up, you know, by and large. They come in, they come in, they come in in what they call uh, squads. Yeah. Divide and conquer. If you're like me, who lives out there in the valley in the Great One Eight, they come in what they call caravans. 
Right, you bring your own tire for crew in your region because we, we have to drive so far. Meanwhile, the kids in Orange County are coming to these things called Ubers. Just, uh, <laughs> right? Know, not lucky. To, <laughs> he has a lucky man. Don't have to go that far. I would not make it out. We have, I'm minutes. not going to lie. Like, the living in the main one, you actually have to plan. Like, we, we, I did have to plan my whole day. Like, yeah. The minute I got out of work, what else was I going to do? How far was I going to drive? All that. And we're right back to the same script as the last game. And was offstage. Oh, he's got a little bit of momentum going on right now. He got putting on the forward air pressure and finally has Razzle off stage. Down air. Oh, oh there's man. immediate side B. Goes for the other one a little bit too much here. I do like it though because he knows how Ad's a little bit scared. And he kind of did a zigzag pattern to make sure he came back on the stage as well. Oh, yeah, no, that's kind of the first counter hit that Ann has gotten in a trying to get back on stage situation by and large. He's just not been able to make it happen. Good parry, gets a down air punish. Not good, not quite able to follow up. Too high of a percentage though. I feel like what's going on with Razzle here, he's making the extra reads when, they're, when they are and they aren't as necessary. Like wow. he goes for a down smash because he would have gone for a low get up, uh -huh. then he would have covered that. He went for a forward air earlier on Ant, but Ant was never going to get Wolf Nutra out of the shield. That's what Billy just like to do, right. go for Nia out of the shield. And making the extra reads when your opponents are even making those extra plays, you're kind of just giving them everything when they have nothing. And speaking of giving them everything when they have nothing, uh, you know, as far as an archetype of a character goes, Ant's probably hoping his villager is able to do a little more damage once he gets that stock lead. But he yeah. put virtually nothing on, and he had not, you know, when you play with the lead as a projectile-based character, it's a lot different than playing from behind, you know what I mean? And he's been playing from behind virtually the entire match. <laughs> he finally had a lead to work with, and it didn't do much for yeah, him. Yeah, that is true. Side B, I mean, I question it if, if it would have hit the shield, he would have bounced back and then got a pretty good unfortunately, Ant has no reason to shield. He has all the projectiles in the game, which is make sure he doesn't really need to shield that much. And yeah, Raza just playing so patient, working out of shield. Not even phased by the projectiles. All phased by that one, the little side special action. He got the sapling down, so maybe he can put up a tree just to, here it is. Axe is now in play. I was yeah. surprised he didn't go for it right there. You know, he had an opportunity. So the Axe oh. out. Who needs an Axe when you got a triple turn up up here, though? At that point, seeing the fact that, you know, Raza was kind of content to just respect the tree, respect the axe a little bit, and set him on the platform. Just, you know, fine, I'll call you out. I right, got 9%, did a little bit better, and here we go. He's got a little bit of a lead to work with, but he's off stage. Raza's opportunity to virtually try to tie it up. Not too far out of it if he gets a kill now. Oh, there it is. There it is, yeah. Right him. on cue. You, you can never, you can kiss the ring, but you can never touch the crown, and the crown is the only thing that touches you with that board, and it hurts. Yeah, it looked like he kissed the crown, just didn't, didn't like it very much <laughs> <laughs> overall. Uh, and back off stage and already behind once again, just right back to where he came from, unfortunately. That's got to be frustrating. He worked yeah. so hard to you get a lead, you put some damage in, and then Peach gets a, not Peach, Daisy gets a forward air. And all of a you're behind. <laughs> oh, he's got a little bit of a lead now, 13%. Yep. So that's all can, it takes. See what he can do with it. For Razo, I feel like he's just... He has a lot of amount of respect here towards that. Like he knows, okay, I have to be careful with all the projectiles, I have to be careful with the tax, right. the tree. She does have health, so you can knock it down. I don't remember the exact health threshold that it is. I in Smash Bros. went like 50 health. That's a, uh, you know, that's kind of interesting, just the way that he's played. He's kind of gotten Ant with a couple of baits with yeah. side special that he's been running into. I would hope that he would catch on to it pretty soon. And like the side special, you know, Ant tries to punish coming out from Raza and just gets back here immediately for it, so. All right, a little recovery here. Watches himself. At this point, he should have been looking at, I think he felt he, he saw Ant's game plan. Like, hold on, there's all this stage that he just gave me. Why would he want me to go for down and he had the bowling ball there? So he immediately went for the shit afterwards. Yeah. Then again, that side that side B, I respect it, but the problem is like the end like afterwards, and if he's not holding shield, you do sacrifice a lot. And Ant's slowly catching up to it. All right, and of course, Ant is throwing out the ax when he has it in play. That might have been his opportunity because he had quite a bit. Of, oh no! Yep, the forward air. There's the set. Oh man, he had a he had his golden opportunity. You gotta talk about like a script to make an upset and try to overcome a, a bracket demon, keeping yourself in the game until you're in that last last hit situation. Oh yeah. And then anything can happen. That's kind of what you want to do. And he was right.